Hello again. Welcome to the Gerbils Workshop. Slightly different view. We're not looking down, we're looking across. Um, here we have a marsher. Uh, apparently it used to be a marshal, but uh, now it's a marsher to get a new one of those. And uh, it seems to work well, but uh, the reverberation allegedly doesn't do it anymore. So let's fire it up and have a listen. And you can play. Actually, we need it in that hole. A bit of that. see then if we have reverb level. Not a sausage. Is there? It's working, it's working. Let's slow it down a bit. Definitely no reverb. And I think there's much in the way of. Tuning and skill. Tuning and skill. That's probably the answer for that. Right.
question about it. There's obviously no reverb. I'm really not bothered about the chorus. But I would like a bit of reverb. I'll get this guitar thing somewhere else. And uh, we'll see exactly what it is that's causing the reverb not to verb. And shut the door. Keep the neighbours out. Right then, so it's switched off and I'm plugging it. I think the bits we're going to want are in the back. Ooh, you can see the utter devastation in my little workshop here. I'm only got a small room. Right, here we are. And we'll need this in an undo mode. when the heads and screws are shiny. So in its long and eventful life I am probably not the first person in here. Oh the noise, the noise. Ah oh, boy it's sticking, come on. should be a, a rubber strip there which is no longer there. Right, let us bring you in a little bit. Ooh. And downwards tilt. There we go. And there is the reverb tank. Two eight-inch speakers. Or are they tens? No, they're eights. And uh, a little horn with a capacitor which is passing itself off as a crossover, which it does actually. Depending on the value, it'll only let so it. It won't let the uh, the bass through. It's a high-pass filter, basically. Anyway, this here. There we are. A little bit. I'm hoping, against all hope, that the problem lies within the reverb tank here. Uh, it's not unusual for these things to go tits up. And you need to be advising the ends of your fingers when you're doing this sort of thing. Get in there. Can't get it in the hole, mother. There you go. Oh, you're getting a good view of my granny jacket here. It's a cold day today, so I've got this thing on. It's uh, used to the wife's actually. I'm not sure. Right, avoiding the magnetical speakers, we've got one of those, a little bit of corruption of all things, one of those, and we have, maybe I'll sort you out, there we go, look at that, there's the reverb tank, triple spring, and transducer at each end. Um, I'm not entirely sure how these damn things work, but work they do more or less. Now what we need to do is find the resistance of these two coils. So push that over there a bit and go behind you lot where I will find a meter. Cheap and cheerful Amazon meter. We'll set that on a little ohm of my own. Bring out the thing at the back here. There we are. Can we see that? I think we can. Yes, right. 
What we're looking for There we go. A little bit of resistance in there. You take the unleash the pointy ends of these. Okay. Now in there and that on there and we have oh it's all over the place and keep it still okay Four point six. Uh oh. Can you see that? That says, "Oh well." That is out of limits. So. Okay. I would imagine that the coil this side is knackered. Let us first do that to that. That's out of limits. Ah, I had the wrong side. There we go. So that has a little resistance and the ground wire Also has a little resistance, so the wires are good. Let's try this side, just for the sake of argument. Well, I'll get the right one, yeah. There we are. Yep. These are favourite. These little wires here breaking off. So what we have these where they can't do too much damage what we have is this where are you? Oh, it's lining it up isn't it? This little coil here is open. Now alright I could unwind it and wind it up that would make a nice video wouldn't it? But we'd all go crazy so hopefully it's just the tank. Um, this is a typical marsh. Marsh. <laughs> Marshall has got L's on the back. Typical Marshall tank, which is quite small. You'll find these in a lot of their amps, the heads on the little combos. Um, can't remember when I've last seen. A Marshall with a, a full length, but I haven't seen one anyway, so there we go. So I'll have to order one of these. I'll get on the computer now. It's gone five on a Friday, so I don't suppose it'll show up anytime soon. Um, Watford valves in the UK keep these so we'll give them a try and uh, I will get back to you when the new tank comes in it for now. Thank you very much for watching and uh, bye bye. See you next week.